Well, happy Monday, everybody. Oh my goodness, it's not Monday. Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. It's the 15th of March, 2022. And we have, uh, uh, you know, about close to 10 mods to look at today. Uh, some of them are placeables. Uh, we only got about five, four, of, yeah, like four. Four of them that are actual tools here. So showcase of the day is gonna be this bad boy right here. This is the John Deere 1113. And this is a cedar planter uh, by Eric Isaac Adriano Ivanchio and Agro Mods. Very sharp looking as well. Let's take a look at it before we uh, test it out. So we're gonna go down here to new downloads. We got the John Deere 1113. This one does seed directly. No previous cultivating or plowing is necessary. So just hook that bad boy up, bada bing, bada boom. $68,000, you need at least 170 horsepower to pull it. Holds 2,700 liters, 3.5 on the weight, 7.5 working width, very nice. And we got a nine mile per hour speed at working rate. It does hold solid fertilizer and seeds. You will be able to plant corn, sunflower, soybeans, sugar beet, cotton. Uh, you also have a tandem for, that weighs 1.4 ton. That's going to cost you an additional 10,000 at the dolly. It serves as a link between a semi trailer and a tractor. Take a look at the dolly real quick. Here's your dolly weighing 1.4 ton. And here's the actual cedar here. Design, we got standard. We got a solid fertilizer tank. Back to standard extension. We got right extension. And we got left extension. That gives you a little ladder to climb up. And back to standard with your ridge markers. And there you go, that's my showcase choice of the day. So we'll fire it up, see what she looks like. Go on our options up here. I've already got it filled up with fertilizer and corn. You got your ridge markers. Then you got your open cover, which is gonna open each lid one at a time. Pretty sweet. As you can see, we're all filled up with seeds. I'm gonna close those, and it's gonna open up the fertilizer side, which you can see I've already filled it with solid fertilizer. Bada bang, bada bang. Like I said, you're gonna need at least 170 horsepower. This is a base game John Deere pulling it that has 190 horsepower. Let's put down a little bit of corn, why don't we? That lowered and turned on. Operates at nine miles per hour. We could put the ridge marker down if you really want to. Turned off, ridge markers up. There you go. Pretty sharp looking mod, huh? See how she looks. Yeah, very nice. Nice and detailed. Good looking machine right there. The new planter with direct drilling, so no cultivating or plowing necessary, which makes those always pretty nice. All right, moving on, we're gonna check out the rest of the mods today. So like I said, that's the showcase mod. The rest will just be uh, looking over all the info. Let's go back into the store. Next up, we got the Heavy Meadow Rollers Pack. This is by Blend Art. Kolchosnik Jr. and TT Check Modding. Now this is a pack. Got, look at all these. What is that? Three, four, five, seven different types. 
Uh, let's go with the first one. You're going to need 90 horsepower, weighs 4.2 ton, 5 meter working width. Next one needs 30 horsepower, 1.8 meter working width, weighing 1.4, 1.3 ton. This one weighs 864 kilograms, 1.8 meter working width, 30 horsepower required. 30 horsepower required for the baby one, but it costs more than that one. But this one, oh no, this one's bigger. It weighs 2.3 ton. All right. That makes sense. All right, this one's huge. 4.2 ton, 5 meter working width needs 90 horsepower. 30 horsepower, 1.8 meter, 1.3 ton. 864 kilograms, 1.8 meter, 30 horsepower. Let's go look at this one just to get an example. All of them are going to have the same type of stuff. You got your standard setup, warning signs in the front, mud guard. Ooh, I like those little lights. Those are detailed. They're nice. Mud guard with warning signs. Uh, yep, yeah, right there. Mud guard. All right, then you can change up your colors. We could do blue, red, rim color, green. So yeah, very customizable with the colors there. Nice little weight pack. Those are huge, by the way. Nice. All right, so those are gonna be with a roller. You can improve the upper soil layer quality of your fields. So you can use those out in your fields. It's not saying if it's just for grass. It looks like it's, let's double check what category it's in. Uh, that's gonna be in the rollers category. That's all it says. So that's not grass rollers that is actual field rollers just to make that clear to you all right let's go take a look at the det k5 by tolfa that is a tank that transports liquids so that's not like a slurry spreader that is just a transport it can do milk water diesel def uh, fertilizers herbicides slurry and digestate it's going to cost you twenty five thousand dollars Nice little detail. I like the little log that it's sitting on there. Very nice. We got Michelin tires, Lizard, Continental, back to Michelin. We got Standard. We got wheel weights. Standard 2 with wheel weights. Standard 3 with wheel weights as well. Back to Standard. Main color. We got five options. Nine color. And rim color. And you can do your license plate as well. Weighs 3.1 ton and haul and holds about 5,000 liters. Very nice. All right, after that, we're going to go to the Dufelsdorf Round Bale Fork. This is made by Rick Black Label TWD Modding. It's going to cost you $2,200. And it's going to haul round bales. A bale loader eases the collection of bales. It holds one bale, as you can see, weighs 100 kilograms with a two meter working width. Whatever that means, that just means you pick up a bale with it, daddy. All right, so check that out. No customization, it is what it is. It's a Dufelsdorf brand, which is green. And there you go, $2,200. That's for small farming, of course, or if you just want to pick up one bale at a time to take, to, you know, put straw bedding down or what, yeah, 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 you know. All right, what else we got here? That is it for your equipment mods. Now, let's go take a look at the placeables. All right, before we get to the actual placeables, let's take a look at the new map that was added, Portugal South. By the way, as always, everything on this video is cross-platform. So you got a new cross-platform map. It is Portugal South. All right, this is made by FSPT. It's a map based on the southern region of Portugal with original relief. The map brings its own space marked for the factories. Three points of sale, 26 fields of various sizes, also has a farm space with farmhouses, silos, and sheds. Uh, the PDA looks very nice. Let's take a look at the views. There we go. Portugal South, there's the entryway into the farm. And there's a look at the map. So we got 26 different fields. Looks like we got a variety of crops. We even got some grape vineyards. Very nice. Look that. All right, there's a nice uh, terrain shot. Look at the uh, farm there. There you go. Brand new map. Uh, that's going to be in the map category, of course. Cross platform. 
and it's made by FSPT. So go check it out. Brand new map there for you today. All right, we'll move on to the placeables. First one we're going to take a look at is the Small Dairy. Small Dairy by Nelu. A small dairy which can be placed as production point. Price is $40,000. And let's take a look at the screenshots on that. Got your little delivery point. There's a look at it at night with the lights. And there's the back side of it. Very small building. Nice brick. Looks pretty detailed. There's where you manage it. Well, there you go. The Small Dairy by Nelu. All right, next up for placeables today is the Small Horse Pasture. This is by No Dot Name. <laughs> All right, on this horse pasture, you can accommodate two horses. The area is about 16 by 20 meters small and fits on every yard. The farmer has equipped it with a simple fence. An old bathtub serves as a cheap waterer. Oats, hay, and straw are fed in the shelter or in front of the shelter. The interaction marks can be switched off in the game menu. Price, $8,000. Daily upkeep, $10. Very small here, but pretty cool if you got a little small farm you're running. Look at that. That's, that's pretty cool, actually. So it only holds two horses. I like it. I'll probably use it, to be honest, on my uh, small farms. That's cool. Looking good, mine. All right, we got next up is Rustic Brick Metal Fence. This is by Michael L.S. Uh, fence price is 1000 bucks. Gate price is $1,200. And it's a rustic brick and metal fence. It is what it says it is. There you go. Looks pretty detailed from the screenshot. There's your, your gate. Yeah, I like the brick. Very nice. Sharp looking. All right, we'll move on to the tree sapling pack, which is by Mac Trucker 921. And this is an update, actually. In the change log, he's added the ability to purchase in quantities of 6, 40, and 60 sapling. So this is something that was already out there, but had an update today. Here's some screenshots. So there's the different option six. I mean, we're getting some close rows here. So if anybody's ever planted these, uh, this is your kind of normal setup. And look at that, getting packed right there. You get a lot more out of your, har <clears throat> excuse me, out of your harvest when you're planting that much at once. All right, so here we go. There's some screenshots. And that, ladies and gentlemen, I believe, is it for the day. I do want to touch over one thing from yesterday that came out after I made the video, and that was the placeable power line. Uh, this came out yesterday, and it works like a fence. So you know how you go into construction and buy a fence? Well, it says it's a paintable power line for the build mode, and it's painted like a fence. The power poles can be placed almost anywhere, even on slopes. The initial or end pole must be almost on the same level with the attaching power pole. Cost 100 bucks per meter and slots too. All right, view some screenshots. So if you're wanting to liven up your map, if it's a little dead and you want to make it look like a, it's got a power grid going on around, well, there you go. It works just like a fence. You just place it and drag. <clears throat> there's some of them placed on Elm Creek pretty cool I think I might use that on no man's land someday when it starts looking a little busier so that really is the end of the video have a nice day everybody check out these new mods uh, leave comments on which mod you like the best or just say hello in the comments hit the like button as well subscribe to keep up on daily mod reviews for cross-platform farm and simulator 22 it's the international farmer i'm signing off goodbye